How can we apply Daniel to our lives today? All right, welcome back to one more episode on Prophetic Perspective, talking about the book of Daniel. Fellas, we've stepped through Daniel in terms of the narrative portions of his life and even his friends. We've talked about the prophecies that he he proclaimed that have already been fulfilled in human history, those prophecies that still await fulfillment, including mm -hmm. the tribulation era, that's last 70th week. Today, let's talk about some of the applications from this great book mm -hmm. and really this great exemplar, Daniel, that would apply to our lives today. Well, I would say the first application is the fact that Daniel, living in a pagan land under a pagan king, with put in charge of all these evil occultists, he still lived faithfully to God. He, he, he lived a faithful life. And so if he can live in a completely pagan, one of Babylon's always historically considered the most evil of all places, if he could live true to God, then so should we. All right. So Babylon is known for a rebellion against God from the very beginning. With Tower Nimrod. of Babel. Yeah, yeah. It's always been the, the spot that's rebelled against God. So you're saying we can live in a world that rebels against God and still honor Him. Absolutely. Amen. I would say the second application is that Daniel believed God and His promises even though he didn't always see them being fulfilled. Right. And he actually let them be applied to his life in a way that, that informed how he manifest his testimony of faithfulness to God. But again, he believed God and his promises. And as we open the Word of God, as we study it, first thing we have to do is believe God. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a promise in Revelation, for instance, for all of those who read or hear and heed the book of Revelation. But the first key to to heeding and to understanding is to believe it. There's not a promise, there's double blessings You're there. exactly right. There's two promises. It begins and ends that way, where the people who hear this and obey it, how sad is it to read it and not listen to it and not uh. obey it? How, how, how sad to understand it and not obey it? I mean, that's the promise and the blessing given to us. So twice, it, the beginning and the end is a double blessing. So that's that, the third application yeah, because yeah. you actually have to study it. Yes. You know, it, the statistics for Christians reading their Bibles is dismal. It's the very Word of God. It's how we know who God is and know His future plans for us. If we're not studying the world like Daniel, who was deep in study all the time, you know, it depends on how you like to study. Some read, some watch videos, some, you know, do Bible studies, but we should be in God's Word just like Daniel. Amen. And you're saying we need to trust God and, and, and understand the promises of God. So if I'm going through financial issues or relationship issues or health issues, I can promise, I, I can trust God. His promises are there. You can trust God and you can be an overcomer. In spite yeah. of all those things, if we put our trust in Christ, we're told that we will overcome because He has overcome. And there's a whole series yeah. of uh, promises and revelation yeah. that will be ours. What do you think is a fourth application for us today, Dave? Uh, what was the fourth application we talked about? Uh, that was intercessory prayer, was that? Was that time yeah, of prayer? Right. Yeah. It's yeah. The intercessory that prayer, time prayer, giving ourselves to seeking the Lord through prayer and even a spirit of penitence or humility. Right. And because Daniel understood the scriptures and he read Isaiah and he read Hosea and he read Jeremiah, he understood that in order for the kingdom to come, Jesus' kingdom come, there had to be repentance. And intercessory prayer is interceding for other people, not just, I want this, I need this. That's not prayer. Prayer is, okay, Lord, we've sinned, we've done this. And just, it's just covering everything and repenting. For that. That's the first part of prayer. Yeah. And for today, we could do that in praying for the those who are lost, those yes. who don't know Amen. Jesus Christ or Absolutely. Savior. How many people in our prayer do we say, Lord, I, oh, please bring this person to salvation or that? And uh, Daniel did it for an entire nation. Yeah. Okay, we have dear friends. As a matter of fact, Todd Hampson is our dear friend, and he is part of the Prophecy Pros. And I don't make light of that because both Todd and Jeff truly are gifted in their ability to communicate God's prophetic truth. But our application number five is that even this great visionary prophet, this man of God who has no identified character flaws, still recognized that there were limits to his understanding. Yes, yes. And that's why it's good that we have so many commentaries. There's so many wonderful books. Uh, we'll put the link below for the Nonprofits Guide to the Book of Daniel. We have many other resources. We'll link below. If you want to grow in your understanding of Jesus Christ, then, hey, we offer those resources. But we won't know everything, uh, how prophecy is going to be fulfilled until it's actually fulfilled. Okay, so amen. the Lord's given us a beautiful picture. He wants us to know that in the end, He has the victory. And then we're in Jesus Christ that victory can be ours as well. Amen. You know, the thing is, none of us will claim to know everything. Todd and Jeff, uh, the Prophecy Pros, don't claim to know everything. All we know is what has been revealed in God's Word, and we believe it. Sometimes we don't even understand it just like Daniel, 
but we trust God. We know that it will all come to pass mm -hmm. just as He has foretold, and by believing it, we gain more and more understanding. We hope you've put your trust in Jesus Christ and that you will be drawn to study His Word, believing that it is true, that He is faithful, and that every word is yes and amen. So that is our prayer for you today. We're going to keep praying that you watching us today will follow Christ. Godspeed.